Good morning, everybody. So I'm getting settled into my canal boat, which is really cool. Um, I sent about six boxes of things for me to unpack when I got here, and I'm really glad for the things I did pack. Um, just a few of my favorite things, like I have a little stool that I painted, which I'm glad to have. I have a small painting, um, some clothes. Clothes are important. Like this shirt was packed. Um, there's a lot that I didn't consider though. One of the things that I had to go out and buy today was an adapter. I had a multi adapter, but for some reason it wasn't working. So I went out and bought another one. But I am on a boat that was built in the UK. So in the UK, they have a different type of plug than they do here in France. So since the boat was in UK, anything I get here is gonna have a European outlet or European plug, but yet I have all these UK outlets. So there are some adapters on board, which is great because the people I bought the boat from have been amazing and this boat has everything a person pretty much could ever want on it. Um, so I'm saving a lot of money. Like I don't have to worry about dishes or pots or pans or cooking things. Um, I have a really, really nice bread knife that I brought with me, but you know, they had a really nice bread knife too. So it's, it's great. I mean, I don't have to worry about furniture. I don't have to worry about at anything really. Um, I have my artwork from Tony Alderman, which I just love, and I have to figure out where to put it today and, and kind of how to put it up because it's not like I can just put something in the, you know, screw stuff into the walls. I don't even know how thick these walls are, and it seems to me like the inside is more like just that really thin particle board, so I don't think screws or anything like that is going to work. Um, and I'm not too worried about frames or anything right now. I almost wish I could get just some flat, like, mat type things. That might work for framing. But otherwise, um, I have books here. Lots of interesting books. And, yeah. Oh, and I don't have any water yet. The boat was winterized, which is great, because... The last thing I needed was some freeze to happen and pipes to break or whatever. Um, so on Monday it's going to get dewinterized and so I'll have water again. So right now I'm hiking up to the clubhouse and I'm at the very, very, very end of the dock. So it's a bit of a hike. Um, one of the things I packed, which most people would probably laugh at, is a urinal in my boxes. And I'm really glad because in the middle of the night when I wake up to go to the bathroom, the last thing I want to do is hike all the way up to the clubhouse and pass all these boats with little small dogs that will wake up their owners at 2 in the morning or something like that. Um, things to get used to here, obviously the language is a barrier. My French isn't that great. I'm good at saying things like bonjour, s'il vous plaît. Um, Au revoir. What else? What else can I say? But because of my French lessons, which I've been taking for months, well, up till about a month ago, because of those lessons, I'm actually able to understand things pretty well. So one of the things that I've had to do is order a few things on Amazon. And there is Amazon in France, and I can have stuff delivered here, which is great. So that's not really any different than cruising anywhere else. Um, so, but the Amazon France is in French and everything is in French. And so finding things has been a little bit of a, a little tedious, but I managed. So um, I've ordered a printer so I can do some writing. I've, cause I like being able to see what I've written. And I really don't have internet here. The internet is up at the clubhouse, so if I want to use the internet, I have to go up there. 
So it would be great to figure out how to get that here. Also, I probably need a local phone at some point, and I wanna buy a bicycle. Those are a top of my priority, and a hair dryer. So I didn't bring my hair dryer with me. Number one, I didn't really have room for it. Um, but the other thing is, you know, the plug would be so different. So it's better to get one here and have the right plug, although the right plug is gonna be the wrong plug when it comes to the boat. So that'll, that's all right. I have adapters and I ordered extras. So that should be good. Um, otherwise, it's very quiet here since everybody speaks French and I speak English, so I'm not out socializing as much as I probably would be if I were in the United States. In the States, I'd probably be, you know, talking to all the diff all my boat neighbors. Um, but here, I'm kind of, I don't know, off by myself. But it's actually really good. So I think I need this quiet time. Um, now I'm going to get all teary-eyed. But this is a huge, huge change in my life. And it's a good change. But many of you know I lost my son a couple weeks ago. And boy, that part's been rough. So it's good I'm not out talking to people. I'd probably like start crying or something. Better, um, so I, it's good I'm here. I love being on the water at night. I sleep really well on the boat. Um, and I think, I think that's it for today because I'm, it's, it's a little rough. Just the grief part is rough. Being on the boat is great. The grief part, rough. Oh, and my nose. I think that's from wearing the mask for like the two days of being in an airport on my way here. Um, flying here was really interesting. The airport's and like the French airport was empty, empty, except for like armed military walking around. Um, but it, I left Raleigh Durham at like 4.30 in the morning, got to Chicago, had like an eight hour layover, flew from Chicago overnight, got into Frankfurt. Frankfurt, I had another like six hour layover and everywhere you go, they check your papers and check your vaccination and check your, like, did you get your, you know, did you get everything? Like, did you get your test? Um, did you sign the affidavit saying that you will obey all the rules regarding COVID? So after doing all that, I got to the Hilton at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, stayed one night, got up the next morning at like 4 a.m., so that I could get on the train and get here. And so I took trains to, well, first I took the train into Paris, then into Dijon. From Dijon, I got a taxi, which was like 70 euros down here to my boat, which is awesome. Um, but, you know, you just only want to use that taxi once. You don't want to have to keep using a 70 euro taxi. So I'll figure out where the train station is and learn how to take the train from here to Dijon, although I hear it doesn't run that often. So we'll see, we'll see, it is it is what it is. Um, anyway, so for today I'm gonna, I've had Tony's, I have some prints of the artwork I had in my house and I have those prints here. And so I've been laying them out so they will get flat because they've been rolled up in a, in a cylindrical tube for, the last few months so as soon as yeah so now they're all flat and I can figure out where I'm gonna put them and I just have to figure out how I'm gonna attach them to the walls without anything I've got some little sticky things that I worry about taking that off and how it affects the paint so we'll see anyway all is good here like I said I'm really happy to be here I'd show you around my boat more but it's kind of messy I have been cooking on my boat, which is great. Best thing is to do it first thing in the morning while it's really cool. Um, so I have some like pasta salad and some, I don't know, lots of salad kind of stuff. Lots of good food for summer. Um, stuff I don't have to heat up in the middle of the day. 
So, and it gets dark about 10 o'clock at night and it's light at about five o'clock the sun comes up. So it's, so it's a little weird to be walking down the dock at 9.30 and people are just having dinner. So, especially for me, cause I usually have dinner at like five, 5.30. But anyway, it's good. I'm glad to be here and yeah, that's it. Anyways, send me a text or email or something and um, I'll be around. I'll try and do more of these.